Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. I mean, what we teach you here, right, right, is our people. Our history is in the Bible. Because every nation is in the Bible, right? You ain't going to find Portuguese, Puerto Rican, American, what you said? Arabic. Arabic. You ain't going to find that in the Bible, right? So what it was showing is that our people, this history that happened, that you see right here, right? Slavery, uh, what happened to the natives in the Caribbeans, everywhere, right? Even across the world, that happened to our people is actually biblical. Right. So this is what we're trying to bring to our people is that guess what? Our history is in the Bible and we need to get back to the Bible because the Bible is the answer. The Bible tells us how we jacked up right now and how to get out of this mess that we're in. Give me Deuteronomy. Bring it out. Because I'm also Puerto Rican. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So you see, this is Moses talking to what? The nation of Israel when they came out. He said, listen, I'm going to give you the commandments. If you keep the commandments, I'm going to bless you. Right. You read that to the time of King David, King Solomon, so on, right? But then when we were reigning, he Jesus. said, now if you break it, guess what? Now you're going to be cursed as a nation. Right. Because let me ask you a question. When y'all grow up, I don't know if you ever wondered, because you know, you hear about God, right? You be like, yo, God loves everybody, you know, saying everything is all peace and love. But when you look in the world, you look in the news, everything is war. Right. Yes. There's always tragedy every in the world. There's killing, there's right. murders. Right. Right. Our sisters are getting, you know, sex trafficking. Right. You gotta right. be like, what's going on? If there's a God, why is this going on? Right. The reason right. is, right. is why? Because we went against his laws. He yes. said, listen, don't kill, don't murder, don't right. lie, so right. on and so forth. So many laws that he gave it, he said, yeah, we ain't gonna do that. We gonna do what we feel. He said, right. gonna do what we feel, I'm gonna jack you up. Right. That's right. Give me the next verse. Verse 16. Matter of fact, give me 32. Verse 32. Bring how you doing, up. my sister? My sister, how you doing? You see yourself right here on the, on the side, my sister? What we doing is showing our people who we are according to the Bible. That's right. We're showing that, guess what? If these curses fall on your forefathers, if what we come out of the Bible fits your forefathers, then you're most likely from the tribe of the nation of Israel. Right, yes, right. And you need to get back to God. Right. Now, give me this. 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who did that happen to? You see this right here? And this is just this didn't just happen to the so-called blacks. Bring it up. This happened when in the Caribbean, South America. Right, right. When uh during Africa, around Europe, because right. our, our peoples are everywhere. So guess what? Our sons and our daughters, as you can see, we're at was sold to another nation. Right. Right. Because right. we broke God's laws. Right now, I don't know if you know this, right now it's epidemic. Our sisters, the so-called, especially right now, I mean, a lot of our women is getting taken. Right. If you see in the news, they say what? Almost, what, every 30 seconds or so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around yeah. every 30, 30 seconds, a woman is getting kidnapped right now. That's right. Only seven. Hello? Only seven. Every, every 30 seconds, a woman is getting taken. That's crazy. That is a Bring curse. Read that one more time. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. All those sisters that you see taken in the news, on a daily basis, we ain't got no power to take them. And not also in that, it also falls in what? Child services. Right. Child, every day, child service is taking our kids. Why? That's right. That's we can't right. discipline them. If you hit your kid, you try to discipline them, you can't do that. Right. You be like, okay, so when they grow up to be monsters, they rob and they steal it, then they come blame the parents. Right. Or you yeah. a bad parent. That's right. You don't let me correct my child. That's a curse. Now give me uh, 48. Verse 48. 
Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So God is saying, now listen, this is God. This is the same Bible that you can read anywhere. That's your right. grandmother got it, your mom, yeah. your pops, your uncle. Right. I don't care where you go. It's the same Bible. Say God himself is right. going to send another nation to jack you up. Read that right. one more time. Right. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. I thought God was about love. Yeah. That every time I go to church or you hear in the news or you always hear some type of philosophy, man, you just gotta love everybody. God is about love. God is saying here, I'm gonna jack you up. Yeah. I'm gonna send yeah. you to slavery. I'm gonna take your kids and give it to another people. Right. That's, That's real right. God. That fake God that y'all hear about, that God loves everybody. God is about love, unity, this and the fourth. Do whatever you want. It's what you feel. That's not in the Bible. Yeah. Any Bible. Right. Spanish. T-shirt. I don't care what language you got it. Hebrew. Greek is going to say the same thing. That's you break right. my laws, I'm going to jack you up. Right, Finish, right. It. Finish it off. And hunger. So in hunger, for our food, guess what? We always got to go to what? Another nation, another people. Because guess what? A lot of our time, our people come here, we bust our behind. We workers, but we don't own these companies. Right. right. We don't own under these companies. There's always somebody on top that is not our people. That's Even right. if you're a CEO, there's always somebody above you. Right. Even when uh, uh, Obama, was president. Guess what? He was just a puppet. That's guess right. what? He couldn't do anything he wants. Guess what? He got the congresses, the congressmen. He got the banks controlling him. You can't do that. I want to do this. That ain't happening. Right. I paid you. You're going to do what I tell you. Right. That's a curse. Get out. Huh? Get out. And then thirst. Water. Simple as that. You got to pay water. Water is free and you got to pay for it. That's right. And then nakedness. All our clothes that we got, I don't care if it's an athlete, an uh, actor, whatever, whatever name it got. That material always comes from somewhere else. It's right. never our own people. Right. right. And then what of all things? The education comes from somebody else. Our language, our name, our religion is what? Give it to us by from somebody else. That's right. Christianity, the, the way we think of Christianity, just like we're going to, just like, check this out. Who is this supposed to be? It's supposed to be Jesus, right? Correct? Jesus. Right? Now, in one of all things, they gave us this when we got conquered. They say, Bring it this out. is your Lord and Savior. Right. And then guess what? If you know a little bit about history, if we didn't bow down to this, they were kids. That's that right. is historically fact. Right. That's right. right. And you can read that in the Bible. Right there. Now, if I should say, if I should ask you, have you been ever in any Bible been showed him in the Bible, literally in the Bible. No, right? But we believe it. We give our life right. for this. That's right. We serve him. We, when we pray, guess who we thinking? This guy right here. Right. That's right. Right. Bring it up. Jesus. That's we think of him. That is not that scribe in the Bible. That's in the one of all things. So let's get to the matter of fact. Let's go to Revelation. Bring it up. Not, believe it or not, Christ is in the Bible. They talk about nobody seeing Christ. And the second thing, it's, it doesn't matter. So we'll get to that. Give me that. Revelation 1 and 1. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Verse 10. Verse 10. And, in the, and I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. This is John. On the Sabbath day is the Lord's day. Friday sundown to Saturday sundown is the Sabbath. Yes, sir. Right. And heard behind me a great voice. He heard a loud voice behind John as of a trumpet uh -huh. saying I am Alpha and Omega uh -huh. the first and the last first and the last who's that who's Alpha and Omega wow. Christ That's the first right. and the last and what thou seest write it in the book I want to make sure he read this because a lot of times when you hear um, when you bring out when we bring out the description of Christ oh see that was just a vision Clearly, right, he says, when he turned around, he heard a voice say, hey, listen, what you hear, write it. What you see, write it in a book. That's so it's not a vision. He wasn't right. like, well, I think. Now, he literally saw Christ. That's Remember, right. John was one of the apostles. That's so he right. knew what he looked like. Right. Now, give me 14. Verse 14. His head and his hair. So his head, the hair in his head, and his hair, because he had a beard. By the way, that's a law to have a beard. That's right. Because Christ had a beard. Did you right. know that? Yeah. 
right? So that's a law. That's You're supposed right. to have a beard. You right. trip it up, have a nice, you read that in Leviticus. We'll get that later on. We're white like wool. So the hair that he had was white and woolly. Yeah, Let me ask you a question. Simple, simple. Who has woolly hair? It's cause, is, is wool a color or a texture? Texture. It's a texture. Do you agree? Yeah. So what, what kind, who, guys, who got woolly hair? Woolly hair, that's woolly hair. As white as snow. It was all white. So, check this out. So these images right here, they ain't matching what the, the, the Bible's saying. That's right. It's not matching what the Bible's saying. And his eyes were, now he's looking at his eyes, were as a flame of fire. Flame of fire, when you read in Genesis, because the first miracle is what? You not know his first miracle? He, he changed water into what? It's a wine. When you drink a little bit, what happened to your eyes? Bring it out, bring it out. It's a little red, you know, traguito. That's right. That's right. right. It's a little red. I gotta get to my kids though. All right, well check this out. Listen, you want the kingdom? Give me Matthew 19, 16. Do y'all want bring the kingdom? Out. Okay, cool. Before you leave, this is a major thing because in religion, in general, right? I want to say this before y'all leave, is God never gave us religion. Right. You're not gonna hear Moses go down there and give him saving the Adventists. Give them their Catholic, right. give them their whatever. You're not going to read that in the Bible. That's right. But he gave us his what? Commandments. You know how we say he's our Heavenly Father, our Father? As a parent, I'm going to tell you, do this and you're going to be good with me. You don't That's do right. it, I'm going to punish you. That's right. So give me Matthew 19, 16. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Yeah. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? He came to ask Christ, listen, I want the kingdom. I want to live forever. What Bring I got to do? Bring it out. And he said unto, unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. That shows also there ain't no such thing as a trinity. It's a separation. Right. But sometimes, not a lot, but sometimes Catholic. I know for, for Catholic, because I grew up Catholic. A lot of our people believe they're the same people. Right. It's a different yeah. Not me. It's a different person. But if thou would enter into life, keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. Because in, 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 in religion, in majority of Christianity, whatever sector it is, because they all fall down under the same umbrella, it says all you got to do is have faith and believe for the most part, right? Christ is saying himself, no, keep the commandments. Right. What you're going to read in Hebrews, when he dies, so why did he die? It's what? To take away the sacrificial law. That's right. Remember, you know, he said, I'm the lamb, right? right. The lamb? Now, after me, you ain't gonna better, you're not gonna get no bigger sacrifice than I am. Right. So he said, after me, now you got that thing called grace. That's right. What is grace for? What is grace before you leave? What is grace for? Because you hear go. grace. We on the grace, brother. We don't gotta do nothing. Just believe in Christ. What is grace? Give me that. Yeah, because grace, a lot of people, we have grace. I don't have to do that, man. I'm under grace. So I want to do that. I want to give you that. Grace, Titus 2.11, quick. Come on. Man. Titus, chapter 2, verse 11. Bring it out. For grace, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation, have appeared to all men. Teaching us, that teaching us. Grace is, we're supposed to learn something of grace. Teaching us that denying ungodliness, and worldly lust. So with the grace, the grace at the end of it is a grace period. Right. right. When you have a bill and you can't pay on the day, let's say it's the first, I ain't got it. You call the bank, whatever it might be. Listen, I don't got it. Can you give me a little break? Okay, cool, I'm gonna give you a grace period. I give you two weeks to make at least half of the payment, whatever it might be, cool, that's a grace period. It don't mean if I say, cool, you ain't gotta pay on the first, does it mean you ain't gotta pay at all? Bring it out. You still got to pay it. That's right. It's the same thing. Okay, cool. Because remember, when you read in the Old Testament, we kept breaking the commandments. That's we kept right. going on, on the captivity after captivity. The Persians, the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Greeks, the Romans, so on and so forth, right? So he said, listen, before I kill all of y'all, because we all should be dead, because we all sinned. Right. We all That's broke right. the commandment. We all should be, we, we should we didn't even exist. He said, I love y'all so much, I'm going to send my son. So you can get that grace period to fix yourself yes, before right. I come and kill you. Let's finish it off. Teaching us that denying ungodliness huh? and worldly lust, worldly we should live soberly, soberly. righteously, righteously. Godly. godly, in this present world. In this present world. Give me righteousness. You got the fly, right? Yeah, I got it. 
Listen, I'm gonna give you righteousness. At the end of the day, when you hear righteousness, it's gonna sum up what he was talking about right there. Right. It's the laws. That's right. Don't kill, don't steal, the beard, the fringes. These are things that it seems minute to us, like it's stupid. You want me to put this? It's stupid. Really, I'm not gonna make it? The scripture says, you break any commandment that I tell you to do, you ain't make it. Because remember, he's not a man. This is God. I want perfection. That's I don't want, a, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to give you 50%. I'm going to give you 80%. I want 100%. That's right. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God as he had commanded us. That's righteousness. What you hear, man? I'm, I'm trying to be righteous. Are you righteous? You ever hear about righteous? Going to, it's always goes down to what? Commandments. When you That's read a lot, when you read the first John, love is keeping the commandment. Right. When you read the Bible, no matter what it says, it always go back to the commandment. That's right. Because you gotta earn it. You gotta earn. You want. You wanna. You wanna have a nice body. You gotta earn it. Right. You wanna get a nice diet. You want a nice job. You gotta go to school. You gotta earn that degree. You gotta That's earn right. everything in this world. That's right. But our people think, oh, eternal life. I could get that for free. I just got to believe. Bring it out. It's hard. Kill me now so I could go to the kingdom. Right. Yeah. Why am I wasting my time in this life? No. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.